Your Sudanese news outlets are confirming that Sudanese forces have repulsed two attacks by Ethiopian militia and Ethiopian forces on Sudan Ethiopia border. Sudan Tribune and other Sudanese news uh, sources are claiming views that two attacks were carried out on Sudan Ethiopia border by Ethiopian forces and Ethiopian Amhara militia. First attack was carried out in Sariba area on Sudan side of the border. Sariba area shares border with Tigray region of Ethiopia. And uh, Sudanese officials are claiming that not only this Ethiopian attack in Sariba was repulsed, but an Ethiopian soldier was also captured by a Sudanese army. Uh, the Ethiopian soldier was armed with a gory, you know, heavy machine gun. Uh, viewers, this area, Sariba, is in Greater Fashaga, Fashaga al Kubra. A second attack was also carried out in Fashaga al Kubra in an area called Al Alawa. Al Alawa is also close to Sariba, viewers. In Al Alawa area, Ethiopian Amhara militia fighters tried to rob a Sudanese farmer, Altaf Al Hajj. And uh, Amhara militia fighters tried to rob a truck which was owned by Altaf Al uh, Hajj viewers. And here again, a Sudanese reserve forces responded and Ethiopian fighters withdrew. Uh, we were, so far, we haven't heard uh, any statement from Sudanese military. These are claims uh, made by Sudanese media sources. But in the past few days, we have seen views that uh, Sudanese uh, media has been breaking news. Sudanese military uh, usually does not acknowledge what is happening on ground in uh, the areas along Sudan, Ethiopia border. It is basically Sudan's media which is uh, telling us what is happening on Sudan, Ethiopia border. Because the Ethiopian side also issued a statement yesterday. Ethiopia says that there will be uh, no negotiations with Sudan until Sudan withdraws its army from the areas of conflict like Al Fashaga. Because Ethiopia does not want to accept the status quo. Uh, Ethiopian farmers, Ethiopian militia have been pushed back uh, from Al Fashaga farms. Al Fashaga farms uh, area is under the control of Sudanese forces. Ethiopian side does not want to accept this status quo. They want to keep this issue alive. And at the same time, Ethiopian forces do not want to launch a counter-offensive as well because they are uh, entangled in Tigray as well. So they want to wrap up Tigray war first, then uh, they might launch a counter-offensive against Sudanese forces in Al Fashaga. But of course, uh, Tigray war uh, cannot be wrapped up in a few days. Uh, this conflict in Tigray is uh, being prolonged. I don't think that uh, Ethiopian forces will be done with Tigray conflict in a few days. It will take some time. Let's see what happens. I think for watching.